it's a little surreal still uh, being back with you guys. And it's been awesome to see you're a little bit bigger, I think a bit wiser, and you've kind of got that sort of raw swagger that I think we expect of a graduating senior of this school. It's been beautiful to witness, truly. I've only been back a week and uh, the transformation is complete. One of the many reasons I'm really glad to be back here uh, is that I get to tell you something that I've been reflecting on for the better part of a year. Uh, as Billy just said, I'm formally in school, um, so I'm back as a student uh, where you guys are. Uh, but one of the things that I've been doing this year is reflecting back on my experience at prep, two of the happiest years of my life. And uh, that's a lesson in itself, right? I know we have really hopefully instilled this idea in you that reflection is at the heart of experience. Uh, a Jesuit teacher of mine years ago said, an experience is really only half an experience without reflection. And when I've reflected back on, on my time here, um, I have come back again and again to you guys. Uh, I have prayed for you daily in California, um, often through a lot of laughter as memories float up. And uh, one line just keeps coming up over and over again. Um, a little context, this line, uh, it comes from the 17th chapter of the Gospel of John. It's, um, it's this prayer uh, that Jesus has with the Father. It's the only time that we actually get like an inside view of what Jesus' prayer to the Father is like. And to sum it up, basically Jesus is saying to his Father, he says, I wish everybody in the world could feel the love that we have for one another. I wish everyone could be one as you and I are one. And there's this one line uh, in there that just kept coming up over and over again as well. Jesus thinks back to his disciples and he looks up and he says, Father, they are your gift to me. Uh, and that is the line that has come up over and over again this year when I think about you guys. Father, they are your gifts to me. Um, it's a great joy to be able to share that with you. One of the things in particular that I've thought about with this class is that I've always felt that you guys were the class that really welcomed me the most. Uh, my freshmen were driving me insane and didn't know anything. Uh, and the juniors and seniors at the time were a little too cool for school. But I, I mean, I almost vividly recall meeting the, da you know, the Danny's Tack and Maloney on my first cross-country day practice. I remember the sophomore theology classes, which a lot of you guys were in, and how welcoming you were. You, you kind of showed me the rhythm of the school. You, you gave me a sense of the traditions here. Um, I got to attend a sophomore retreat, the first retreat I got to, to come on here. Uh, I got to expand the circle a little bit more. And I'm just always grateful that you guys were there to welcome me uh, and to bring me into the fold, as it were. So you've been a great gift to me. Uh, but I think it's also pretty clear that you've been a great gift to prep. Now, there's, there's sort of a, a typical way of talking about this, right? And I've thought about it, right? It, it, the fact is you guys have contributed so much to the life of this school. The accomplishments are many, and I'm so glad I was here just the other day to see two more SEC championships. Like, awesome. You guys have, yeah. yeah. Give it a round. Yeah. You guys, you guys have killed it. You've killed it in athletics, in arts. You've, you've killed it in service. You are a, a group of rock stars and VIPs and Renaissance men. And that is something uh, that we should, of course, give you great honor and tribute for. But I also want to talk about the gift you've been to prep in a bit of a different way. And it's already kind of come up today, and it's not surprising. See, it, it occurred to me that you have been here at a decidedly unique time in prep's history. For one, you've been here at a time of some real transition. You've seen two presidents. You've seen two principals. You've seen the school itself transformed in its space, uh, changes in the schedule, changes in faculty. That's itself quite a lot. We've also heard um, that you were here and I was here with you for the once in a century global pandemic that changed life at PrEP pretty dramatically. And most recently you were here for this devastating event of the loss of Jimmy McGrath and, and the wound that that caused to this community. 
I bring this up because it occurred to me as I was thinking about what I would say today that you might be tempted, or maybe you've already been tempted to think, I don't know, that you got a raw deal here. That you might be tempted to say, why did it have to be like this? And it's a serious question. And I would just say that if you are ever tempted by such thoughts, if you ever find yourself tempted by such thoughts, I would say, look again. Right? It is true, and I think I mentioned this a, a couple months ago when I talked to you, there are some things in life, the meaning, the significance of which we just don't understand until much later, if ever at all. And I, I don't know that I fully understand what happened here. I can only say that, and I can say this without hesitation, that as I look at you guys through the eyes of faith, I see a class of spirited, happy men who have been shot through with the forces of grace. What makes me so confident about that? Because again and again and again, what I saw you guys live was living into the mystery of this thing we call the Prep Brotherhood, right? Through every step, you were there to show us and one another some of the great truths that are at the heart of this school. What am I talking about? That together is always better than alone, right? That the individual gets made by the community. That joy is always going to defeat despair. And that love, right, true love, the love that Christ gives us, a vulnerable, big-hearted love, a love that is laying down one's life for one's friends kind of a love, that is the one and only true force that brings us alive to the fullness of our humanity. You have lived into that again and again, and that has made you stronger, and it has made prep stronger. And it is a wisdom that you have found together that has been like a fire blazing at the heart of this school. And so today, today we do honor you, and we say thank you, and we bless you on your way. Thank you, boys.